Welcome to the demo video of our budget spreadsheet. This budget spreadsheet has four tabs, a readme tab with instructions, an example tab to have a better idea of how to use this budget, and two different budget tabs. Basically, the two budget tabs are exactly the same. The only difference is that in the budget two tab, you'll have 10 extra subcategories for savings, bills, expenses, and your debts. Now, let's have a better look at our budget tab, how to set it up and how to use it. You can use this budget as a weekly budget, a bi-weekly budget, a monthly budget, or any other type of budget. Basically, you can use it in whatever way it works for you. To set up your budget, make sure to only fill in information in the white fields. All the colored fields, such as the light blue and the orange here, will update automatically for you. We recommend starting on the top here by setting your own start and end date. The month will then show automatically on the top here. This way, if you create any duplicates of this tab, you'll easily be able to tell your different budgets apart. On the top here, you'll also be able to change your currency. When you change your currency here, it will update everywhere else in the tab. You can also enter a start balance. So let's say, for example, you still had $500 left to spend from last month. You can update that information here. This will then be added to your budget amounts as well as your actual amounts. So you can budget and spend money more accurately. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add some subcategories. You can enter subcategories for your income, savings, bills, expenses, and debts. All you have to do is type it in the empty white fields here. So for example, you might receive money from a paycheck. You might have a second paycheck that you receive for that month. Let's say you also receive a bonus and you might also receive some money from gifts. Now let's enter all our subcategories quickly and have a better look to see what this will look like in our budget. Now we've added some subcategories for each category. Basically, now the next thing that we can do is add a budget amount. So let's say, for example, you expect a $2,500 paycheck, a $1,500 paycheck, maybe a bonus of $500, and you might receive $50 worth of gifts. You'll now see that there's $5,050 left to budget between your savings, bills, expenses, and debts. Now, when you add budget amounts here on the top for your savings, you'll see that this number will update automatically so you can see exactly how much there's left to budget still. This way, when you add your bills, when you add your rent, when you add any of the information that you enter here, you can see exactly how much you're still left to distribute. So let's add some amounts here to have a better look and see what this looks like. You'll also be able to enter some due dates here for your bills and for your debts. So that way you can be sure that you never miss a bill payment or a debt payment again and stay on top of your bills by clicking on these checkboxes here. Basically, this way you can easily check it off as paid and make sure that you never miss a bill payment or a debt payment again. Now, when you add these budget amounts, you also see some graphs appearing on the top here. The rest of the graphs and the rest information will appear when you add in your actuals. Now, when you're done budgeting, and let's say, for example, you did not budget at $500, you can just leave that here, but you can just switch to your left to spend section. Now, when the month has started and you start receiving your actual income and you start spending money, you can add your expenses in the actual sections or your income into the actual sections here. So let's say, for example, you received a paycheck of $2,500, $1,500, and a bonus of $350. You can now see that your left to spend section here will update automatically for you. Your breakdown will now also start appearing as soon as you start information to your savings, bills, expenses, and debt sections. So let's say, for example, you received your paychecks and straight away you put some money aside towards those savings. Now, when you add that information here, you can see that your left to spend section updates, your budget versus actual updates, and your breakdown updates. The only section that you do not update on the top here when it comes to spending money or receiving money is your expenses. We have added a separate expense tracker on the bottom here so that basically you can add all small transactions as you go and then the spreadsheet will do the work for you and total all your transactions so you can easily see how much you spent and how much there's left to spend. To add a transaction for your expenses you just simply scroll down to the bottom here, you enter in a date, this is optional. You enter amounts, so let's say for example you spend $50.03 on groceries, you just add here groceries. Now when you've added that here, when you go to the top, you can see this has been added here. So now let's say for example the next day you again go to the grocery store and you spend another $7.47 on groceries. When you add that here, you can now see the total is $57.50. Now when you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll also be able to see a spending chart and a spending breakdown. 
basically this will allow you to see exactly where your income went and how much money that took and what the percentage is and that is it that is basically everything you need to know about this budget spreadsheet now let's say for example your month or your week or your paycheck has finished and you want to start a brand new budget all you have to do is click on this little arrow here and then click on duplicate when you create a duplicate you get an exact copy of the tab that you have here so it might be easiest to use this budget tab the original budget tab as a template so for example if you leave all these actuals empty and maybe just add the planned amounts add the due dates and basically add your subcategories now when you create a copy all you have to do is add your actuals throughout the month and adjust the budgets if needed perhaps adjust the due dates if needed this way you can create as many duplicates as needed for as many paychecks or as many months as you like and whenever you don't need it anymore you just hit that little button again and click delete now we personally would recommend keeping the original as a template as this contains all the formulas this way if you accidentally make any changes you always have the original template that you know that works for sure and that is it if you have any other questions about this budget spreadsheet i'll be sure to leave some contact information in the description box down below thank you so much for watching and have a great day